Okay, even though we talked about it a little bit in the test equipment, we're going to walk through how to do the testing and troubleshooting of the patch panels. So the patch panels are basically a certifier test. What we're going to do is we're actually going to um, certify these cables from end to end. So if you look at the, inf there's information printed on the side of the um, patch panel. Notice ports 1 through 12 are CAT 6, 568B con uh, configuration, and ports 13 through 24 are 568A, and they're CAT 5E type cables. So I'll just kind of quickly walk through again. Don't forget um, to calibrate your equipment. And then the next thing we need to do, to do is um, set it up for the test we're going to do. I'm going to go into port 1, so I'll use CAT 6, and it's a 568B. So I'm going to go in, select it. Um, so we already have a, one set up here, CAT 6 permanent link, um, CAT 6 cable, and it's a 568B. If you don't remember how to set up the equipment, go back to the um, equipment um, link that or video that I made and I'll show you how to set up the certifier. So what I'll do is plug into port 1 on this side and then I will take the, the remote part of this unit and go into the other um, patch panel and plug into port 1 there as well. So again I turned it on, uh, the equipment, I'm going to plug into port 1 on patch panel number 11. So we'll just lay that up here, the remote station, and we'll go back to the, to the uh, main unit and we'll do the test. Okay, on the test again, we have everything set up. We're, we uh, have the remote unit plugged in, so we'll just either, two ways we can do this, um, use the selected, okay, and there was a test here, or you can use this test button. Um, okay, so what we did is we have a bad wire map, it came up, notice we can tell what we've got. We actually have the orange-white, green-white pairs uh, crossed over. So basically we have a, a crossed pair. In this case, it's also an A to a B, as you can tell. The orange and green are switched from an A to, from an a, to a B. Um, so the other thing we will do on this test is we'll probably need more information. Example, we're going to look for the near-end crosstalk reading. So what we need to do is continue the test. Right now it told us a bad wire map, but we're going to continue the test to get some information. So basically it generates a complete test. Okay, we're going to come up to this screen. It's going to say the same thing, except now we have some performance and some diagnostics. Um, one thing we go to is the performance. This will tell us the length of the cable. Now if this was a good cable, this is what I'd be asking for. I want the length of the cable if we have a good cable. If we have a bad cable, I want to know where the fault is at. So we, this information is just length at this point. Um, when we talked about it, I wanted the near-end crosstalk. That's the next reading. Here it's telling us what the decibel reading is for the near-end crosstalk. Okay, um, if we're looking for where the fault is at, so we want to know to, to fix this, are we going to work on this end, or are we going to work on, which it happens to be patch panel 10, or are we going to work on patch panel 11, which is the remote station? Okay, so if we hit the diagnostics here, and we hit the analyzer, the top one, it's basically telling us exactly how far away that fault is. In other words, this jack right here at number 10, which is 1.3 feet away roughly with this cable, that this is the place that the cables are turned around from A to B. So these wires on this end need to be switched. You can tell it's a very good diagnostic tool, helps us quickly evaluate where the problem is at so we can fix it. So that gives you an idea of what we're looking for on this particular test. If you have any questions on the certifier, be sure to ask.